All right, welcome back inside our proactive newsroom. And joining me now is Neil Varach. He is the executive vice president of Step Gold. And Neil, good to see you again. How are you? Good, Steve. Good to see you. Yeah, so a big news released out from the company, just updating your preliminary economic assessment for uh, Trey Crucis, that Oxide Gold project. So let's remind everyone a little bit about the project itself and obviously the updated numbers, which uh, which really are good and robust, but they certainly show the pressures that everyone is facing with the economy these days. Yes, absolutely. So this is the the, the project that we actually just acquired and closed at the end of June. So not, not too long ago, less than uh, eight weeks ago. Actually, we we acquired and closed that. So we're now the 100% owner of Trace Crucis. The last time the PEA was completed was actually March of 2022. So we wanted to update it now that we're the owners uh, with the realistic costs uh, we're dealing with. And that for reminder, the Trace Crucis project is actually just under two and a half million ounces. And this PEA is on just over 600,000 ounces of the two and a half million ounces. So uh, there's 1.9 million ounces of sulfides and the phase one component is just over 600,000 ounces of leachable oxides and leachable sulfides, which gives us a, a very robust project uh, that we highlighted uh, just yesterday on this PEA with the update. Of course, costs have increased, like, like you mentioned. Uh, we saw about a 4% uh, increase in CapEx to about 131 million US, still delivering a 31% IRR still delivering 160 million US of, of MPV at $1,700 gold after tax, uh, which would be again, closer to 250 million US at current spot pricing after tax. So still a very robust project, uh, but it was great to put out an update now as a new owner. Yeah, uh, we'll leave that for a second. Let's get an update on what else is going on. I know that you're uh, continuing to drill. Uh, you've got a lot of drilling happening because you've got a lot of uh, cash in, in the bank and ready to go and if you, whatever you need to sort of move all your projects forward. Yes, it's been it's been a very busy summer, so it hasn't stopped. The closing of this Trace Cruces project um, soon after announcing 150 million U.S project financing facility for our phase two expansion in Mongolia, which is underway now. And I think the, the market will see some updates on that funding as we continue, as we draw, uh, make our first draw on that funding, hopefully in the coming weeks. Um, and that, that'll, that'll be a big, a big win, I think, for, for shareholders when they see how real that funding package is. Uh, in addition to that, our current operation, the oxide mine that's, that is producing and generating cash flow, um, only has about two years of mine life left today. So it jives nicely when we bring our phase two online in the first half of 2025. However, we have the infrastructure, we have a plant that's operating. Why not look for more oxides to extend the mine life? So we are drilling quite a lot of holes across our whole mining license. So uh, we are on 10% of it today. So the 90% the remaining that's under underexplored, we're actually out there doing shallow oxide drilling, quite a lot of holes. We'll have results coming in probably late September, early October, and any 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 new oxide uh, delineation on, on that program is gonna be, gonna be a big win for uh, for ourselves and shareholders because you already have an operating plant. It's it's, it's low hanging fruit, so that's that's also quite exciting in in, in all of this. And Anil, um, uh, Mongolia has really been put in the spotlight recently. Uh, maybe you could talk uh, to everyone a bit about that. It was a quite an interesting piece that I saw. Yeah, I mean it was great, fantastic actually. Uh, Quest means business on CNN. They they actually ran their program out of Ulaanbaatar for three nights last week, highlighting uh, Mongolia as probably the 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 best functional democracy in that region. Uh, how how uh, how uh, obviously resource rich it is. How foreign investment is continuing to grow, not just from U.S. but from other countries. Uh, mm -hmm. how, you know how, how solid the country actually is, and is a very big endorsement of of where this country is going in in, in short order, what we've achieved in, in in short order as well. So that's that's a great endorsement to have that, and 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 really educate investors from not just hearing from guys like ourselves. And hearing it from someone else, uh, you know, you know, we didn't have to pay. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Makes a lot of sense. Anil, thank you so much. Good to catch up with you. And we'll talk soon. OK, absolutely. Thank you so much. All right. There's Anil Varaj, executive vice president of Step Gold.